West Ham have had a late change forced on them. The Belgian international, Francois van der Elst, injured an ankle in training yesterday and is replaced by the young Scott George Cowie, and this will be George's fourth game in the first team. Manchester United, meanwhile, have also had to leave out a key player today. Brian Robson injured his neck against Nottingham Forest in midweek. He woke up this morning in severe pain, and Remy Moses comes into his place. Gary Bertels is back in the attack, with Scott McGarvey moving to sub. The referee is Stephen Bates of Bristol, and in brilliant weather, Manchester United have their usual big following. And it's West Ham who got us away, attacking the goal to our left. They're in the dark shirts. Manchester United today in a change strip of white. Here's Jeff Pike on the ball for them. United in such a good run at the moment, having lost only one of their last seven. And having won their last three games by a goal to nil. Cross with a delicate touch, but not reaching Brooking. And a jump there by Ray Stewart, not making the right sort of contact. But here's Stewart again, finding Goddard. Devonshire away on the left, but it's cut out quite easily by Gidman for Manchester United. Laron backing off him. Devonshire coming back to help. And a goal kick. John Gidman coming back here. A part of a United defence that's conceded only two goals in their last six games. Brookings header. Gidman again. Or... Cross leaping early but still getting a contact being thumped in the back there by Kevin Moore and a free kick to West Ham. The West Ham players lining up for this one. In fact, it's the little touch from Orr releasing Devonshire. Here's Brooking. Laurent. Satisfactory season indeed for Ron Atkinson, the Manchester United manager. They look sure to get a place in Europe next season. Goddard, back again for Devonshire, played on quickly. Now for Brooking, just over the top. Good play there by West Ham, incisive and economical and very accurate. And Brooking shots just a little too high. Played in there by Devonshire. Brooking taking it well on his chest, hitting it first time, a fraction too high. Here's Devonshire, and now Cross, and a free kick for the foul by Kevin Moran. in here he seemed to be so well covered but he defies logic on those occasions and cross very nearly did the same there Popple. a good cross in but it'll be a corner off the head of Ray Stewart the question is whether there'll be time enough for United to take it well they have already Grimes getting it in and Brooking with a header getting it away only as far as Moses now Wilkins can Allen intercept there he can't but all gets it to Allen as the halftime whistle goes no goals and a halftime score here at Upton Park it's West Ham United nil, Manchester United nil. So the second half gets underway, Manchester United in white, attacking the goal to our left. The second half delayed by some 
five minutes or so because of the crush behind one of the goals and a few spectators getting onto the field. And I'm just wondering what that will do for the concentration of the players. The score standing nil-nil. And Stewart heading it behind for the corner to Manchester United. So Grimes with a corner in the first minute of the second half then for Manchester United. Bertles and Koppel and Stapleton in the West Ham six-yard area. And flicked on by Stapleton, who rather optimistically felt that it would be a corner, but the referee was in a good position to see that it touched no West Ham player. It's a goal kick. Not the happiest of hunting grounds, this incidentally, for Manchester United. The last nine visits, they've come here in the league without a win. Shoved off the ball by Moses. Free kick for West Ham. Interesting position. It could hardly be more central. It's something like 23 yards out from goal. Brooking and Stewart behind it. Stewart quite capable of blasting a hole in that United wall. And that's what he'll be aiming to do. Don't seem to be back 10 yards, and that's why the kick's been delayed while Mr. Bates gets that organised. Satisfied. Stewart with a shot into the wall. And cross! was ferocious it ricocheted off the wall off number seven Moses and Cross was in there to side foot it with the outside of the right boot and West Ham going to the lead with four minutes of the second half going so David Cross registers his 17th goal of the season much forward there for Brooking Nudge forward now for Devonshire. And away on the right is got out with cross away on the left. Devonshire. Brooking. In for Devonshire again. And Gary Bailey out. As those two midfield men from West Ham again slice away through that United defence. Devonshire and Brooking. There's the return pass. Bailey plunging out of his goal by now and getting it there. Goddard nodding it on for Cross, turning it back, but United getting possession, here's Koppel. And now Gidman attacking from the back. Lovely acceleration there, Stapleton trying to get it back to him, Laurent is there again for West Ham, and in the end Stewart knows where it's safe. has looked as good as anybody in the midfield today and that's when you remember people like Brooking and Wilkins are also there with England places for the World Cup in mind Koppel playing it wide Moran playing it in and it's got to go down to Kevin Moran although there was an aberration on the line so far as West Ham were concerned and there was a United player in there too they all missed it, and here's the defender's header. And West
first hand put off by the Gertles. Gertles flick and it goes past Box and past Laurent and makes it 1 1. Grimes again. Orbiston. Long range shot. Hit the post. Well, that's twice they've hit the woodwork in this second half. And one goal they've scored, Manchester United. A real raking shot there from Arthur Alberston, which had the beating of Phil Parks, but not the post. Here's Brooking. Back again for Devonshire. That's a good cross by him for David Cross. Well, Bailey made the save, but from my angle here, whether that in fact came off Cross or Moran is hard to say. Maybe the slow motion will tell us. Good cross whipped in once more for West Ham. They both went up for it, yes, quite clearly. David crosses Heller. Popple. Gidman. Now Wilkins. A little chip there towards Bertels. Well, that gave him every chance of making it 2-1. And Wilkins right at the centre of that one. Look up, and a beautifully played ball there, which Bertels took well. For all the attentions of the defender, might have done a little better. So Ray Stewart doing a bit of organising back there. Orbiston playing it in for Stapleton. Orbiston again attacking well from the back, cutting in a good cross there towards Popple. Now Wilkins trying it on the other side as the other fullback gets in there now. Gidman, and there's Bertels with it. Oh, what a good save! Moses maybe with a chance and a tremendous scrimmage there. The whistle has gone. But a marvellous example there in the first place of both United fullbacks. Full of attack and a good smiling conclusion. Took quite a scrimmage there in that West Ham six-yard area. Gidman it was who dinked in a lovely little cross. Bertels a miraculous save in the first place by Parks. Then the bodies and the feet started to fly and the whistle went. Popple, Goodman, Bertels, well played Laurent, Pike finding, uh, oh in turn for Allen, off cross again for Paul Allen, West Ham coming forward, now Brooking, can he get a good cross in? Now he can! Oh, a superb save by Gary Bailey from Goddard's header. Tremendous piece of football. A lovely cross by Brooking. And a lovely reflex save from the Manchester United goalkeeper from Goddard's header. United, meanwhile, are making their substitution. Bailey, uh, a tremendous save. Bertels goes off. And McGarvey is now on. But he'll only be on for a matter of a minute or so. A real late substitution, that one. Brooking now with the corner towards Stewart. Devonshire flying wide of that United goal again. And a real rousing finish now at Upton Park. As the final whistle goes, and it's a 1-1 draw after a really good, exciting and attacking setup, second half. With David Cross having put West Ham into the lead early in the half. And then Kevin Moore at number five getting a header in for Manchester United who hit the woodwork twice. And West Ham came back with a storming finish. So maybe it's just about the right result. And there's applause all around Upton Park. People here certainly have enjoyed it. And a final score, which reads West Ham United 1, Manchester United 1.